the fact that you used to build these coaches and wire these, I think that says a lot that you're the one inspecting it. When I say every crack and every crevice, everything, I'll get on my hands and knees and I'll crawl around, I'll look. Ladies and gentlemen, today we traveled to Lake Tanicomo, Missouri to find a 2024 Newell Coach that's getting ready for delivery. And we're hanging out with Steve from Newell Coach. Steve, how you doing today, Good, sir? Good, how are you? Excellent, thank you. This is a brand new 2024 Newell Coach. What is it doing here in Missouri a few hours away from the Newell Coach factory? <clears throat> All of our show coaches, some of the customer coaches, we like to do a, a shakedown, really in-depth, stay in the coach, use all the appliances, Appliances, check every button, all the bays, everything inside the coach, electronics, plumbing, everything. Awesome. Well, we're going to ask Steve a little bit more about the PDI process on this coach, but do you think you could show us around this 2024? You bet. Sounds good. So we got all the basement bays opened up here. We're going to look through these. Now, when you go through the exterior of the coach, what is your process for inspecting this coach? We have a checklist that we go off of. We'll just go item by item. When I get to the outside, I mean, we actually, we crawl inside the base and look and look at the coach at different angles than, than a customer ever would, just to try to uncover some things and before What's delivery. some of the stuff that you can uncover in a PDI process? Or what's some of the stuff that you maybe found on this coach? No audio from our sound bar. We started a different process for the audio routing on, on these coaches. The technicians didn't get it uh, wired correctly, so I have no audio out here on this outside television. But that's something that when it gets back to the factory, they'll be able to button that up Absolutely. easily. I know exactly what to do. If I get a chance, I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to fix it myself. So Okay, yeah. Now, what is your experience? How long have you been with Newell Coach and what is your position at Newell? Been with uh, Newell since 2007. For the last past year, I'm, I'm a delivery specialist, so I get to show the customers all their dreams, right? I think there's a lot of people probably jealous because I get to do all this. But Hey, I, I think I might be one of them. So so you've been camping in this coach for the last couple days. You press every switch. Now, when the customer takes delivery, do you spend time with the customer showing them how to use this coach? Oh, absolutely. Um, usually it's about a two to three day process. At that point, the customer will leave, go on a shakedown similar to this, and then they'll, they'll come back to Newell after that, and then we'll address any issues they have. I had a chance to interview Chuck, the manager of production, and I remember him saying that they had customers go out for a shakedown cruise and then didn't come back to the factory because you guys had done your job so well yeah. the first time around. Yeah, absolutely. So is, that, is that kind of what the goal is? It is. That's exactly what the goal is. It makes you feel real good when that happens. It means that you're doing your job. So Yes, yeah. sir. You're, and you're doing it correctly. So. Yes, sir. Well, and these are very complex machines, and when they're going down the road, I think <clears> I was told it's about an 8.5 earthquake. So I like that you guys drive the coach up here, kind of put it through that shakedown. Now, about how many miles are we from the Newell Coach factory? We're about two and a half hours, so it's uh, close to 90 miles. Okay. So, I mean, we got some, as you guys probably found out coming in, you got some pretty good terrain to put the coach through, right? Yeah, absolutely. Got to, got to put it to the test. Well, let's yeah. take a closer look uh, through these basement bays here. Yeah. Uh, the first couple bays, what's all going on up front here? These are all just storage bays. One thing that we've started doing here at Newell, what you're accustomed to, is the, uh, the remote control that'll run those slide masters out. Okay. We're putting a button in here to run those out. So is that new for 2024? We've been doing this for about five coaches now. Okay. So. so a few of the 23 late model coaches yeah. have that. Yeah. I really like that. That was very, there was no bending over. Exactly. Really easy to yeah. open and close that bay. And We got some mats in here that we put in the coach for coach delivery, but uh, during shakedown, we don't put those in there. Just try to keep things clean. So I've got to ask, do you set up the power washer and test the power washer? We do. And we deionize do. water? And exactly. I mean, you know, weather's going to be better tomorrow, so that will get a workout tomorrow. So. Nice. Now, I've got to try this out because I have not used this on a Newell coach yet, but this is a huge improvement having this button here. You're not worried about the remote. Really a nice feature, and then you don't have to bend into the bay. Do you know where that idea came from? We had a customer that requested that, and uh, once we'd done it one time, it's fairly simple process, so we just implemented it and started doing 
the standard on all coaches. So, And that's one of the things that I really respect about Newell coaches. They really listen to their customers and really take that feedback and then it gets implemented in the coaches. And even over the last few years since I started filming uh, Newell coaches, I've heard some of those ideas and then seen them get implemented. So yeah. really cool. Yeah, and that, that, that's part of my job as well is that customer feedback. Like I tell the customers, they come up with an idea, hey, it's not going to fall on deaf ears. I'll make sure it gets to our engineering department. They've got to wait a couple more years and uh, spend a few more million dollars and uh, on their next coach. Exactly, right? so, yeah, exactly. That's what I always tell them, right? We'll get it right on the next coach. Just, just so. a few more million yep. bucks, right? Yep. So. so what we got here is we got what we call our shakedown boxes. We have tape, all types of zip ties, tools, and everything in here for troubleshooting and testing the coach. It's little stuff you're going to need with an RV. So, yeah. yeah, so Gene, the uh, director of operations, he and I had come up with these boxes and, you know, once again, cleaning supplies and whatever we need in there. So nice. It's kind of evolved over the years, what we've added in there. I mean, we pack our own safety triangles, our own shakedown mats, vacuum hoses, the, the startup death fluid, the care package for the coach that stays with it for the customer. The electronics bay, I mean, there hasn't been a big change in those over the years for the exception of the N1 system. When Newell Coach brought in the N1 system, did your process change at how you do the PDI shakedown on these coaches? Oh, absolutely. You trigger that or how does that work to test that N1 system? The old system, you know, we had spade fuses. The, this is a fuseless system. Um, we can actually go in there and force circuits on and off. It's a really good diagnostic screen. So, I mean, you, it's got a lot of information on there. More for the technical side, but not not for the customer. Yes, sir. You know, if they do blow a fuse, it's very simple for them to uh, reset it. Um, we have a diagnostic screen here and identical one up in the cockpit area. The exterior entertainment bay, you already had mentioned that the sound bar wasn't working, so that's on your list. That's on the list, So yes. you come out here in the evening and turn on a movie and... Yep, yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we do that. And then this coach actually has the, uh, the projector as well. So yeah, last night after it got dark, I tried that out and make sure that everything was working properly. But put on a little movie night for the whole campground. Now, how are folks responding to the new exterior entertainment? There's people that walk and jog through here all hours of the day and last night, I mean, had a guy stop and just want to watch a little TV and he's yeah. like, man, that's cool, so. Yeah, it's been really cool to see that option uh, yep. get implemented in a lot of coaches over the last few years. Sure. Now, behind this bay, we've got that Aqua Hot 675D. Are you running the hot water? Uh, Abs heated floors absolutely running all the uh, the aqua hot heaters in there for the shower for the washer the clothes washer for all the lavatory sinks yes putting it through its test and on both sides of it electric and diesel okay yes sir yes yeah. sir our passenger side fuel bay we got our six agm house batteries there and then your passenger side fuel fill there now do you still like inspect the connections or how deep do you go in this inspection oh yeah i mean i'll go to ensure that all all the bolts and the trays are tight. You know, we grab hold of stuff when we move it. You kind of shake it a little bit, yeah. make sure it's yeah. tight. The patio awnings had those out yesterday. Make sure the wind sensors work. Nah, eh, we've got a little issue there, but. Okay, yeah. yes sir. But I mean, that's what this process is for to uncover things like that. So. Yeah, very complex machine to put this together, yes yeah. sir. Now the paint, and it is a kind of a dark day, but just so much cool detail work and the paint with the drop shadows and the stencil work the Ryan Laux design. Do you inspect the paint while you're on this shakedown cruise I as do. well? I do. We look at it for imperfections in, in things and we actually found that there was a chip in this bay door um, before we left that's going to have to be repaired I right there. See, so. I want to see uh, how little. Yeah, just to show, I mean, that, that shows the level of detail. Right. I'm a detailer and I didn't even see that. It took me yeah. a second to see that, so I appreciate that. Th they touched it up just so it, it wouldn't chip off anymore, but yeah, the they'll end up more than likely taking that bay door off and putting it in the paint shop. We have the slide rooms out right now, so you run the slide rooms in and out. Is there any type of testing that you're doing, you know, other than just running those in and out to assure that everything's in top condition? Um, we 
run them out in four different places. Uh, we can run them out from the valid touch screen. We run them out from the iPads. We can run them out from the Intrepid screen. And also we can run them out from our phone. Okay. So, so is this coach set up on your phone right now as you're doing the shakedown? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So the coach puts out a Wi-Fi signal. This is Newell 1775. I've got the Newell Intrepid app. Wow, that is cool. So you can control your lighting, blinds. Can we put out the uh, awnings right now from out here? Oh, absolutely. Patty awnings. So yeah, as those are going out, I mean, you do have a stop button here where you can stop them. Um, so if you're getting close to a tree or another RV or anything like that, it does have the uh, window awnings all the way around, of course. We got the, uh, the RGB patio box lights. Yeah. Those are the ones that, you know, we can change colors on there. And then we also have, you can go to your exterior and you can can turn your patio awning lights on. Oh yeah. Can you change the color on the lights on uh, uh, the windows? Not on the windows. These are just white only. Okay. Yeah, these are, yeah. But as far as uh, the patio box lights, the undercoach and the belt rail, we can change those to any color that we want. As long as you're connected locally to the coach, you can control everything on the coach. Climate, awnings, audio, video, all that stuff. Um, do we have the heat going inside right now? We do. Okay, good, good. <laughs> We're going to be in there in a okay. minute. It's a little chilly out yeah. here. The other nice thing about this app, as long as the coach is connected to a good, good network, no matter where you're at across the world and you have good cell service, you can control the climate, start your generator, turn the lights on and off, things like that. Check your battery. Check your, your battery voltage. voltage. It'll send you notifications if your batteries start to go low, if you get low on diesel. Cool. Now, so the coach just has to be connected to the Wi-Fi for that to work? That's correct. Now, does this coach have its own Wi-Fi system built in on board? It does. It has a uh, cradle point router uh, oh. in there and it does have the capability to put a uh, cellular SIM card in there. So, I mean, you can put up to two SIM cards in there uh, from different carriers, and then a coach will always be connected. Nice, nice. And I've heard uh, some of the new owners are starting to play with Starlink a little bit. Man, that thing's taking off like fire. Yes, it sir. It is crazy. Have you been able to test any coaches that had the Starlink on I it? have not. Okay. I haven't had the opportunity, but... I think they're going to be coming soon. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're coming. Over here, we have our uh, passenger side engine compartment. As you can see, here's our pressure washer and our hose reel. You're gonna fire that up tomorrow, maybe knock some of the dust off on the drive over. Now, yep. when you got to drive this coach over here, did you put the X15 to the test? Oh, absolutely. You made sure to test all 605 horsepower? Yes, yes sir, <laughs> yes. You need that, and it's real nice to have that much horsepower coming up some of the hills getting here, so. Now, on the test drive, when you're driving this coach, what all are you you looking for making sure the coach doesn't overheat watch the temperature of the engine make sure we don't exceed our temperature and that we expect the coach to perform out make sure it shifts properly make sure it rides properly you know this coach has um, like all all the other coach has a smart ride feature that the coach will lower at 50 miles above 50 miles an hour so and it makes it for a lot better ride yes sir yes yeah. sir so things like that we test and make sure that they uh, they work i think they brought the smart ride in 2022 was yes. the first year for yeah. that okay yeah. cool uh, so it's been a few years now with the smart ride and people are definitely reacting well to that oh absolutely nice. yeah yes and now um, which we don't have it on this coach um, the adaptive cruise okay the adaptive cruise that's starting to pick up a little bit it, it wasn't available for a while but now it is and and some customers that wanted it they're they're now getting that installed through through our service department back here's the big power 605 horsepower plant Oh yeah, I love how that looks when it's all lit up. Yeah, looks really good when they have the red on. This one here does have the uh, engine accent, the chrome package, as you can see. Usually that's just a galvanized uh, tube there and and everything else down here. Is, it's all got the chrome package in it. Are you testing the engine bay at all? Or? Oh yeah, so inspect. I'll get in there and inspect all the clamps, make sure that everything's secure, you know, check the engine coolant. You know, we're just a little bit low, it was full. when I left the coach had 195 miles on it so it's still burping just a little bit so i mean it's a good test for it you can notice i mean this coach hasn't been through the entire process all this stuff will eventually be blacked out around the engine door
door and right here. Okay, so, so this is still technically part of the build process, what you're doing right it now. It is, it's, it is. This coach just come available um, for a shakedown in time and we're backed up just a little bit on the cut and buff process. So uh, we took advantage of it, trying to get keep ahead of the whole process. So, you know, we do go through uh, with a customer and assist them with uh, putting their tow bar on there, their blue ox and help them, you know, if they want connecting their tow vehicle. Okay. We check their lights out for them and make sure everything's working properly before they leave the facility. Yes, sir. So coming around to the driver's side, you've got it plugged into 50 amp here. Now, do you also test the generator as you're coming, uh, testing the coach? Yes, I, I run the generator yesterday on the way down to put some more hours on it. Today, I'll, I'll unplug the coach, test the, uh, the AGS, the automatic gen start feature on it. Voltage based, climate based. We can do an exercise, exercise the generator. We can start it for, you know, and let it run for a half an hour, an hour. Yeah, and we were talking earlier, you had a background in the electrical department as well. Uh, what, what was your position in the electrical department again? So when I started in 2007, I was, you know, union electrician there at Newell and uh, started out doing the main rough in and, and trim out and you know done everything on the inside of the coach installing audio equipment and things like that and then had the opportunity to move out to help wire the chassis which is you know the slide outs the shocks engine transmission everything yes, uh, in the chassis well so and i really think that creates a lot of value because they're not just having you know someone off the street like myself come and inspect these coaches because i don't know these coaches not even close to as much as you do so the fact that you used to build these coaches coaches and wire these. I think that says a lot that you're the one inspecting it. Yeah, yeah. So. I'm pretty fortunate to, yes, sir. to have that background. Uh, they, got, so. they got the right yeah. guy for the job. Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah, now coming to the plumbing bay. Now I've got to ask, do you, do you test all the plumbing systems and everything? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Washer and dryer, you can see that the dryer vents open right now. Done a load of towels this morning, testing that out. We test all the plumbing. We, we check for leaks, uh, you know, run all the sinks, the shower, everything like that. Dishwasher, check on underneath them make sure we, we don't have any uh, any both, water leaks yes sir in both hot and cold that's correct awesome yes. flush yeah. the toilets flush the toilets yes everything use the microwave i mean every appliance in there gets used we're in the driver's side fuel bay here got 200 gallons of diesel and 20 gallons of def fluid driver's side plumbing bay usually if it wasn't uh, cold i would have my uh, fresh water supply connected and have my sewer dump hose uh, in the ground but due to the weather conditions they they always have a freeze warning down here about this time of year so yes sir and this is something that i've never seen i see a lot of coaches but the manifold system is always pointed in the in the same direction but it looks like you've got that washer dryer and washer outside so if you find something you'll cut those off on the manifold system yes right here we have the clothes washer that is the hot in the cold side so i have both of those shut off i developed a small leak and i didn't want it to get any worse so i just went ahead and shut those off okay cool i like that there's a manifold for the front and rear bidet so if for some reason your bidet toilet is not working or leaking you can shut off just the bidet but still use all the other water systems of the coach yeah absolutely they you can shut off individual areas that way you don't have to shut off the entire coach it won't it won't leave you stranded and then do you test all these i mean you've got the the holding tank clean out the fresh water fill auto water fill you got your city water fill over there yes we test all of that okay yep. and then we've got another uh n1 panel out here where you can control your water pump lighting all that every panel gets tested out e every suit? one of them yes every button gets tested your light circuits we make sure that they dim every bit of that stuff gets tested yeah a lot of lighting in this coach too to to inspect yeah so. main water pump there our auxiliary water pump this bay here is heated uh, via aqua hot and electric heater in there okay. and it's set at about 55 degrees this is the uh, radiator for the generator all the coolant does come from the generator and circulate through here we do have a pump in here that uh, helps get that coolant to the generator and back through here when the generator is started that that squirrel cage fan does blow air down through there to help cool that generator okay and you'll come in here and inspect this 
this when that's yes. running? Yes. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Sewer uh, dump hose extension. We got a central vac connection right here. I'll take the hose out, plug that in, make sure that that kicks our uh, central vac system on. So you can vacuum like your basement bays outside here as well. Yep. Uh, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Bring your truck over. We'll clean it up for you. <laughs> Shoot. So. Yeah, that's a great idea. Is that in every Newell coach? Every or? Newell coach has one of those. We have a lot of customers use them, clean their vehicles out. Oh, you know, gosh. Their golf carts, things yes, like that. So I come from the detail world, so I can appreciate that. Yeah. So. In here's where we house our deionized filters, our tanks right there. So you do have a, a spigot right there. You can also get deionized water out and put it into a bucket if you wanted to uh, hand rinse something off. A lot of value to that because distilled water just cleans stuff better. And I use distilled water for a lot of stuff. So uh, sure. even to like just fill a spray bottle to clean mirrors and stuff, I prefer distilled water over chemicals coming from the detailing business and just a nice little thing because when you want distilled water to fill up a spray bottle you don't want to hook it up to the power washer so i didn't, didn't know i'm lear learning more i'm yeah. glad we came yeah. and uh, visited you today uh, back down underneath there they actually send a little braided hose and a uh, hose nozzle that you can connect to that to, to fill your your spray bottle or your bucket up so very cool you know over here on our other side of our uh, our slide master tray a lot of room in these bays yeah this is a game changer having this location of these slide switches that's gonna people are gonna really appreciate that yeah, yeah. you know the customers um, you know versus a uh, mid-entry coach this being a front entry coach that's where you get these big slide masters a lot of room in there yes sir over here in this forward slide master once again this is uh, all the customer when the customer does take uh, delivery of the coach this is all the items that we send with them here's the uh, the hoses and all the attachments for the central vac really really handy I don't know if you guys have ever looked in here before this is our care package um, there are all kinds of things in here belts for the engine spare fuses filters for the engine light bulbs there's all kinds of electrical adapters in there so you can plug into any situation and there's water filters in there you use anything out of this there's a complete list right here and a Newell part number you call Newell tell them what you need boom they'll ship it out to you that's great because at some point it's not if it's when you're gonna need all that stuff so they're really thinking ahead to make the experience as good as possible for the end user absolutely and you know we do offer the uh, pressure pro sensors for the tow vehicles so the customer can see the pressures and the temperatures of the tires of their tow vehicle okay that way in the event that they ever do get a low tire a tire going low they can stop and address it before it comes a major issue that's big now is that tied into the same tire pressure monitoring system as the coach has? it is absolutely and it'll show up on your dash in the cluster for that yeah that's a huge advantage because with 605 horsepower if you got a tow vehicle with a flat tire back there you're probably not even going to know it because yeah. It's got so much power. Absolutely. In here, we call this our L1 compartment. This has all the fuses for the chassis in it. They're replaceable fuses. This is how you get in the generator door. Press that, and then you can raise your generator. We do have a handy receptacle in here that you can remove that plug in the floor and run an extension cord in there to plug it into your golf cart or okay. anything else. Nice. That way you can run out and you can still leave your uh, your door shut. Martin generator, just like we've put in every coach for years. It's a great unit, lots of power. It'll run the entire coach and then some. It's rated at 100 amps, so I mean, you can actually run this coach and another one if you, if you needed to. Yes, sir. And it does have a buddy plug as well. You fire up that generator and test that buddy plug, I would assume? Yes. Yeah. Make sure it does have voltage. Yes, sir. absolutely. It's been fun to see the exterior. I've learned a lot, but I'm looking forward to see the inside. Do you think you could show us around the inside? You bet. Let's yeah. take a look. Sounds good. All right, well, this is a super nice coach, and right away, I know the, the heated floors are definitely working. You've got those running right now. They feel real nice. What all are you doing on the inside of this coach? So 
just going through look looking and touching every button in the coach opening every cabinet door getting down crawling around looking at all the toe kicks we've got a uh, shakedown checklist that we use and we go through and make sure that we don't forget anything when we do find something we'll jot it down and then we'll compile a list when the coach gets back to uh, the factory for monday morning everybody will come in they'll start knocking all those items out okay now in this particular coach another beautiful design i love the ceiling treatment the accent walls just a lot going on uh but i noticed this booth is much larger than we normally see you could probably comfortably sit six people here is this all extended out right now it is this is part of the shakedown process just to make sure that we use it like a customer would it's fully extended just making sure everything fits properly uh, it's easy for the customer to use you can also take these uh, portable ottomans customers will move them over here that'll give you one more place to sit yes sir right here at the end of that dinette if, if you've never seen one of these I mean this is something that we do with a customer you always got to find a place to put the pillows yeah this is something what we do part of our shakedown process uh, make sure that that everything is uh, is tested out. We'll air this air mattress up and lay on it, make sure it's comfortable. So yeah. I, yeah, I've never seen how this comes out. So this one actually doesn't have the air mattress in it. It is just a regular, regular mattress. mattress. Yep, yep. We do have uh, sheets, all the bedding that comes with this with this mattress. There is an option that you can get this type of mattress, or you can get an air mattress. Okay. That that inflates and deflates. So yeah, this is nice, even with this bed out with the slide rooms out we can easily walk by these recliners and they're not even pushed all the way back so that's just so much floor space in this coach absolutely and you see how quick that you can get this thing out and ready so when we come down here and do the shakedown i mean we like you said we we live in the coach we uh you know use all the appliances the dishwasher the microwave this coach has an insta hot spigot we test all that stuff out um cabinet doors do you inspect you know like going inside of all these cabinets absolutely go in there make sure that nothing is out of whack the shelves look at everything in there look for the the fit and finish throughout the entire coach yeah are you uh you know looking at all the seams making sure everything's straight absolutely we look at all that stuff uh, open all the drawers make sure that everything is uh, is uh, good in there nothing's off track you know in the past what would happen during deliveries the customer would want some dividers so then we would have to take it out and they custom make the drawer uh, for the customer but this gives them a lot more options okay yes sir and then does this coach have that it that does peg board? I it really does have like a pegboard in there customers really love that um, th they'll be able to put all their dinnerware and everything in there and then you know we do stock all the uh, options and all the pegs and everything for it so they can they can get that all organized the way that they they want it and then it won't be rattling while you're going down the road yeah. so yeah so going through the coach when you're you know inspecting this coach getting it ready for the new owners what else are you looking for you know we'll start the coach and let it idle make sure we don't have any uh, rattles any excessive vibrations things of that matter this coach has a wine cooler in it and i love the finishes the faces yeah. of the oh, it's got a little it's get a lock down here these are nice beautiful how it all comes together do you throw a little k cup in the keurig and get yourself a cup of joe absolutely nice. absolutely tried that out this morning so you're gonna need a couple cups of coffee uh turning over every stone in this cup you bet so. one new feature that we started here recently is we actually have a fridge door lock it'll lock automatically with the park brake but while you're driving down the road if somebody wants to get something out of the refrigerator they can unlock it Oh, nice. And then it'll revert back and lock after uh, after a short amount of time. So Now, uh, for the refrigerator, are you making ice cubes, making sure everything's... Uh... Absolutely. we got to make sure. Oh. And we're, we're making ice. Yes, sir. We make sure that everything cools. I've turned this uh, bottom into a, a cooler instead of a freezer. 
Okay. So were you aware of our ref our refrigerators? How, how are you able to do that? You can adjust the temperature on this upper level right here. This is uh, for your ice drawer right here. You can turn your ice maker on and off. And then for the bottom drawer, you can turn it into a chill, a freezer, or a wine cooler. And all you have to do, if I wanted to turn this back to a uh, freezer, I just press and hold that for three seconds and then I can adjust it to whatever temperature I want. We got our central vac. And you can uh, actually connect your hose on there as well. I still have to test all that stuff. Yeah, pull out pantries. Now, are you looking for anything cosmetically as you go through these? I'll look and make sure none of the laminates chip or uh, has any router burns or anything like that on it. Um, when you say a router burn, what is a router burn? When they laminate these doors and these pantry fronts, they'll router the excess off. And if they keep it in one spot too long, it can actually yeah. burn it. Steve, I really don't want to get this personal, but I've got to ask you the hard questions. Do you test out the bidet? Wow. <laughs> Yes, we do have to test those out. So, hey, got to make sure everything works right. So, right. Uh, you know, our plumbing department, they do a great job, but they do test that out as well. But, you know, they can only test it to a certain extent. So, yeah. yeah, they're not actually using it. They're that's, just making sure everything that, functions. That's, so. that's correct. Yes, sir. Yeah. Love these half baths, these powder rooms is what we call them. They're real handy. This is your primary use while you're traveling with the rooms in. You cannot access your rear bath without going over the bed. Let's test these doors here. I always just like to see the different designs that the team puts on these doors here, so. Yeah, they chose like a wallpaper to put on these, which are, I mean, it's it's great looking. It, it all just flows. This back here, we don't have a television back here, but we do have the projector. It does not have the outside viewing option since we do have that up front. Have all of our equipment up here in normal locations. This coach does have a safe in it. It's located under the bed. So when you lift the bed, you do have uh, quite a bit of storage underneath these beds. Primarily uh, what it's used for is the dinette cushions. When, when they're removed from up there, they can store those down here. We do have a safe right there and also the subwoofer for the surround sound. Now I notice you've got something plugged in here bedside into the USB port. Are you just charging that or? That's a portable hotspot okay. uh, that we, we use for shakedowns and that way the coach is always connected to Wi-Fi when, when we're traveling from Newell out to shakedown. I'll connect to that and then I'll connect to the uh, the camp Wi-Fi as well. I'll test both of them out. I'll, I'll actually even connect the coach to my phone and, and see how it performs that way as well. So we know uh, these Newell coaches are loaded with these Gallo acoustic speakers. How loud do you crank it up to make sure that those are uh, working properly? Uh, we, I turn them up pretty loud, make sure that we don't have any crackles or anything like that. But, you know, we don't have a whole lot of neighbors uh, right now, so they don't mind. Okay, what yeah, kind of we, music do you get playing in here? Just a little bit of everything. What yes. do you want to listen to? We can listen to yes, it. Yes, sir. So. Yes, sir. Now the ceiling too, you know, such such extensive work on the ceiling. Are you inspecting the roof of the coach, the ceiling? How in depth does the shakedown get? I mean, when I say every crack and every crevice, everything, I'll get on my hands and knees and I'll crawl around, I'll look. I'll look, I'll get my flashlight out and I look at everything. You know, we have uh, our rear, our number four air conditioner right here. We look at everything. You know, we do have a little bit of dust, which that can be cleaned up. You know, I don't know if you guys were aware that every every one of our coaches has a an air conditioner override. So in the event that you can't control your climate through your uh, intrepid system, we've got an override switch right up here on every air conditioner. Boom, oh, turn it on. Turn it on nice. manually. That'll keep you from getting too hot and burning up. Yes, so. sir. We have two smoke detectors in the coach. We have one here and then one up to the front. And then we also have a uh, carbon monoxide detector that's uh, located in between the uh, the bed and the nightstand. So the rear bath back here, I mean, has a huge shower. I mean, a guy my size, I mean, had all kinds of room back there, right? You mind jumping in there to show us the shower test? Man, I'm telling you, this thing is, I'm not gonna turn the water on, but I mean, this thing is huge. It has some body sprays, it has the wand, and it also has a big rain head in here. It is, oh, that it is, is just huge. It is 
is crazy huge. We still do, this folds down because we do have our shower fan that's underneath here, but it still draws all the air from around the edges. So Very this is cool. kind of a new, new design. It all slopes down to the back and then here's the drain that is hidden in there. That drain can be popped up out of there if you ever do need to clean it. That heated towel bar is really nice on a cold day like today. Do you test the heated towel bar? You bet, and those things work great. You know, you turn that on with a matter of about 10 minutes, you got a nice warm uh, towel. And when we say we test everything, I mean we test everything. Beautiful tile floors in the bathroom here, and I love how the tile floors on the shower uh, are the same style as the bathroom uh, with that hidden drain. Really a cool look. Right, so. it is. It is, absolutely. I'm going to wash our dryers back here. What all else do you do back here? We do do uh, a load of laundry. I sound like a broken record, but I mean, we test everything. We make sure that our, our sunscreen blackout shade up there is operating correctly. Yeah, I mean, I've already had the hatch open this morning, made sure it worked. You know, usually if it's raining out, we'll make sure we don't have any moisture or anything like that coming coming sure. out. We've got a little temperature gun that we use to check all the floor heat, make sure it's working properly. We go through, we check all the uh, polarity on the receptacles throughout the coach, all the USB ports, all that stuff. We leave no stone unturned, right? I like it. Yes, sir. Back here, we have our, our warranty and manuals. We have our owner's manual. We go through all that stuff. You can see this is where the dinette leaf, that's where we store it. I have it installed right now, but that's what it usually goes right there. Back here, we have our house panel. This is everything that uh, runs off of the shoreline end generator is back here. We also have emergency pocket door releases throughout the coach. If you ever do get stuck in here, you can you can take the air off of it and you'll be able to, uh, to exit the rear bath. I kind of want to see all these different pocket doors just because they've got so many cool little designs. I'm sure you've tested that. We'll yep. test it again here. Yeah, you're going to have a mirror on that side and then you're probably going to have your uh, wallpaper look on this side. Such a cool style of design. Steve, I really appreciate you showing us around this beautiful 2024 uh, Newell Coach 1775 and showing us the PDI process. Now, if someone's a serious buyer and they want to custom order a new Newell Coach or purchase one of the pre-owned Newell Coaches, who can they get a hold of? Look us up on, on the web, newellcoach.com, and you'll get everything you want right there. So. Awesome. Well, thanks again for spending that time with us. I know you've got a lot of work cut out uh, going through this coach over the next couple of days, but really appreciate you. And we well, appreciate you. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah. Also greatly appreciate all of you out there subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.